It's time to find out who's been the most ridiculous person of the week. In at number three this week, it's the president of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, who definitely didn't leak a story to the German press that Theresa May begged him for help last week at a dinner. I mean, why would he? He even joked with his chief of staff at the end of the dinner, saying, we won't have any leaks of this, will we, Martin? And at another dinner in the spring, there was also a mysterious link to the German press, which the same chief of staff then revealed himself to have been a source for, so he definitely wouldn't make the same mistake twice. And that's why they completely deny being the source of the leak. So who did? Are they suggesting that this was a cunning ploy by Theresa May, an attempt to try and embarrass the European Commission into giving her concessions? Because I don't think anybody thinks that Theresa May's that competent. In at number two this week, it's the World Health Organization who decided that the ideal candidate to be their next goodwill ambassador was Robert Mugabe. Now let's just have a quick recap. Uh, Mugabe has overseen famine, epidemics, democratic suppression and violence. So making him a goodwill ambassador for health is a bit like making Hugh Hefner a patron saint for abstinence or Harvey Weinstein a champion for women's rights or Tony Blair a Middle East peace envoy. The head of the WHO has reflected on his appointment and has decided to rescind it. I'm not sure what sort of reflection he did. Maybe he just Googled Robert Mugabe. And in at number one this week, it's Donald Trump, who, after getting into fights with Muslims, women, transgenders, the media, the Democrats, the Republicans, the First Amendment, his own Attorney General and his own Secretary of State, to name but a few, he's now thought to himself, hmm, war widows, they're fair game. I mean, can he get any more classy? He had a phone call with a widow where he apparently forgot the deceased soldier's name and then told the widow that her husband knew what he'd been signing up for. And then he said that the widow was lying about the conversation, so he's learnt the first rule of politics, which is kick the grieving whilst they're down. Meanwhile, he's tweeted that before he came along, the world was laughing at America, which is a surprising statement from him, because if he just changes one verb tense, he'd have actually said something that was true.